Então, o compêndio da Lexia Divina é uma forma simples, prática e acessível de ter na tua mão o resumo de toda a oração de um ano litúrgico. Com esse livro, você não vai perder a tua oração. Você vai registrar dia após dia o conteúdo da tua oração. E a oração vai se transformar em vida, vai se transformar em decisões, em práticas concretas. Essa palavra é tão poderosa que um só versículo pode mudar toda a sua vida. E o que é a Lexio Divina? A Lexio Divina, como o nome diz, é uma leitura orante da Palavra de Deus. Cinco passos, muito simples, e a leitura é algo objetivo. O que é que esses textos falam hoje, concretamente? Lê com calma, lê tranquilamente, lê várias vezes essas três leituras. Depois da leitura você tem a meditação. Então a meditação é um movimento de entrar dentro de nós, onde Deus habita, no mais profundo de nós, e escutar o que é que Deus quer me falar a mim, naquilo que eu vivo hoje, com essa palavra. A graça da oração. Se Deus me fala, eu respondo. Uma pessoa que ama, responde à pessoa amada. E o quarto passo, a contemplação, que transpassa o teu coração e, e, e torna o teu dia todo diferente. E essa palavra deve ficar ruminando no nosso coração ao longo de todo o dia. E último passo, a resolução. Qual a decisão que eu tomo face a essa palavra? Na escuta do verbo. Hi everyone, welcome to this Thursday, December 23rd. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from Seas of the Word Community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us today. For the readings of this, of this Thursday, we will read Prophet Malachi chapter 3 verses 1 to 4, then we go to chapter 4 verses 5 to 6. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 25 to 5 and the Gospel is from St. Luke chapter 1 verses 57 to 66. Let's start the reading of the Word of God. Thus says the Lord to Israel, See, I'm sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and the Lord, whom you see, will suddenly come to his temple, the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Indeed, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like a fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he will purify the descendants of Levi and refine them like gold and silver until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. Then the offspring of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord. And in the days of as in the day of old, of old, and as in former years. Lo, I will send you the prophet Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. He will turn the hearts of parents to their children and the hearts of, the, of children to their parents, so that I will not come and strike the land with a curse. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the second last day of Advent, the liturgy gives us Malachi. And Malachi says, See, I'm sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. He's talking about John the Baptist. Prophet Malachi was prophesizing that another Elijah was to come. This was always the belief of the Jewish people, that someone like Elijah, with the spirit of Elijah, was to come to prepare the way of the Lord, to be the forerunner of the Messiah. And it indeed happened. It was John the Baptist. See, I'm sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. The Lord sent John the Baptist to prepare the hearts of people. John the Baptist was crying out conversion, repentance, to repent to the Lord over and over again. Give the baptism of repentance, not the baptism in the Holy Spirit as Christ did, but a baptism in a baptism of repentance. 
so he came to prepare the way of the Lord. I will send you the prophet Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. Yes, we know that John the Baptist came and prepared the hearts for Jesus Christ. John the Baptist, the new Elijah, came as a messenger, came and prepared the people to Jesus, to Jesus' mission. The sponsor of Psalm, Psalm 25 says, Make me known your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him and he makes his covenant known to them. And the gospel from St. Luke chapter 1 verses 57 to 66 says, Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began mutinying to, to his father to find out what, what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed. And he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbors, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. And all who heard them pondered, pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What will this child become? Because indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. What will he become? John the Baptist, the new Elijah to come, the forerunner of the Lord, the one who was sent to prepare the way of the Lord, to prepare the way of Christ in the hearts of people of his time. We are also called to be John the Baptist for our people, to prepare the ways of the Lord for them, to prepare their hearts to welcome Christ, to prepare their hearts to receive salvation. On this day, let's ask John the Baptist to pray for us and to intercede for us and to help us to be these forerunners of God's message to our people. And today, the seventh day, the seventh O Antiphon. And the O Antiphon today is about the Emmanuel. O Emmanuel, King and Lawgiver, Desire of the nations, Savior of all people, come and set us free, Lord our God. The Lord is coming and will set us free. He is coming to us. Tomorrow night, we will celebrate Christmas and we will be able to shout out and loud that the Savior of all people came and saved us. Amen. <music>